Okay, great. So then what are the other boxes for? Uh, possible pilot deviation. Yeah, <laughs> something along those lines. Oh, we'll get into that. That's okay. one of our internal deal. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to E3 TV. Today, we're getting unfeathered access to Fort Lauderdale Executive's tower. We're gonna deep dive into the operations, get to get up in the tower and see how things operate here. You know, this is one of the busiest executive airports in the country. Give you an idea, international airports like Miami International, Logan, all the Blarvos, that's at a level 12. Full out of executive is a level seven and it goes down to like the three to four area. So that just gives you a little bit of idea how busy this airport is. So we got some great people to talk to, some great things to see. So let's go ahead and get started. Morning, morning. Okay, so obviously in the tower, a lot of stuff going on here. Um, I have a lot of questions for you, but before we get into my questions, can you tell us kind of like, what's the flow of what happens up here? So for a typical pilot, talk from a pilot's perspective, of course, uh, when a pilot calls up on our clearance delivery frequency, uh, they're going to call up and tell us their intentions, whether it be IFR, they have an IFR flight plan on file, it comes out 30 minutes prior. Uh, so we'll have it ready on, on hand, or if it's just a VFR departure to the Northwest, we have a handwritten strip, we'll annotate on it, their direction of flight, the call sign, aircraft type, and make sure they have the current ATIS. Uh, or if they have a VFR flight following, like an example strip we just did, uh, it has the call sign, the aircraft type, their beacon code. Uh, just any pilot knows you want flight this, following. This is an IFR. Is this from an IFR file, filing? No, this is a VFR. Oh, this is VFR. Yeah, VFR okay. on it. So we just put an example strip up just to give an example of what it looks like. So this prints out like this? Yeah, it prints out just like this. So when the, I call in and say, hey, VFR to the Northwest, you guys are typing it in, you're not handwriting. So. It depends. If you just want VFR to Northwest, you'll just still remain in your VFR squat code, the 1200 squat code. However, if you want VFR flight following, we'll okay. need all the pertinent details. Like uh, the call sign, uh, of course, you're going to have a call sign, aircraft type, your altitude, of course, the altitude and route, and of course, your destination. And always going to let us know you have the ATIS. Always let us know you have the ATIS because yeah. it, it creates less work for us to keep. You go to ground position, you have to verify it. We have to make sure you have all the pertinent weather data before you depart. Uh, that's our job to make sure you're safe and know of all weather activity in South Florida. Okay. So while we're on clearance, um, a lot of times, and I think it's because I'm respecting the controllers, but maybe I'm not. Like when I call for a VFR, I usually call first, uh, you know, November 300, you know, clearance, November 300 whiskey VFR. And then I don't say everything else until they come back and say, go ahead, or is that good? Or should I sit there and just go through the it whole depends. thing? It uh, depends. Uh, you could use, um, I guess, frequency. Um, I would just say it now. You use your discretion. If you hear the frequency is busy, yeah. then I'd do your way what you're saying. Um, but if it's not, you can just say everything at once. It's frequency is relatively quiet. We'll get an annotate everything in one hit. Okay. But if you know, he's talking to different airplanes, giving an eye for our clearance or something like that, and wait for a readback, we'd rather you just query Say, hey, you know, clearance uh, executive at uh, November 300 Whiskey, uh, VFR to the Northwest. We'll acknowledge you and then we'll come back and say, you know, verify the information, contact ground, and then Aircraft. go there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then I, and then following is everything that you Correct. Yeah. We have our altitude. This is our internal side. We'll have the VFR altitude, requested altitude route. This aircraft here is VFR going to two India Sea, common air, aircraft, airport here for the flight schools to go and do their practice and get outside uh, the busy cluster of Pompano and Boca and uh, our airport. Okay. Okay. Anything else on clearance that we should know? Uh, not on clearance. Uh, that's just about it for clearance for the basics of just when you call up and what to expect or what goes on inside, uh, you know, inside the operation. Okay, great. Then the strip gets handed off. The strip gets passed on to ground. So ground then has a strip, whether it's a VFR to the Northwest or it's a flight following or an IFR. Uh, ground control is going to have all these strips on there and then knowing. So you don't have to tell them repeat exactly what you want to do again hey ground this is number 300 whiskey mm -hmm. VFR to northwest that's not necessary he already has it there it's already been annotated by clearance you just don't know about that and then he'll give you tax instructions to the movement area and go from there okay now if i acknowledge on clearance that you know i have Adis romeo correct do i have to do that again at ground and yeah, say yeah, with no, the, no, so not at all clearance you're good clearance is good once you give once you've given all your pertinent information of your intentions, VFR, IFR, like I said, and you've verified you have the current information or the ATIS, uh, that's all you need to say, just once. Okay, so how does, but the ground controller doesn't see anything or know here that you've acknowledged that you have the ATIS and all that. It's just the clearance control's responsibility. Just make sure that Correct. You, you've seen it. Yeah, the, the ground control, if, it, if, it's, uh, if it hasn't been annotated by clearance that you have the current ATIS, then ground control will then query and, and see if you have it. 
I've been called Anna's 8 on the strip. Uh, current information right now is Victor. I just created this just so yeah. Miami departure frequency. It's your clearance has been read. It's been checked marked there. And the departure runway is runway 9. Okay, great. So then what are the other boxes for? Oh, we'll get into that. That's okay. more of our internal deal. <laughs> okay. uh, possible pilot deviation. Yeah, there. <laughs> something along those lines. All right, great. That's a wrap. Hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you on the next one.